Welcome to the Scoop School podcast, where we tackle your conundrums about the retail ice cream and frozen dessert business. And now, here's your host. When it comes to cheesecake, he's all about that base, about that base. The ice cream bloke and self-appointed headmaster of Scoop School, Steve Christensen. G'day ice cream lovers, Steve Christensen is my name. As Mr. Announcer Man said, I am the ice cream bloke and welcome to this episode of the Scoop School podcast. Actually, I am the self-appointed headmaster of Scoop School, staff of one, so hence the self-appointment, if you will. Grateful for this uh, episode sponsorship, which again is Electrofreeze. Now, if you are in the market for a brand new high production ice cream machine, whether it be a soft serve machine, a batch freezer, a gravity pump, look, the guys at Electrofreeze, American made, uh, American distributed, they stand behind their product. They've got distributors in every state that can sell and service the equipment that you need to make money in your ice cream business. So for their full range, you need to just either Google search or simply go to electrofreeze.com. Uh, and look, if you're ever in East Moline, go pop into the folks there at Electrofreeze. They'll give you a factory tour. It's a great opportunity to have a look at a great American-made ice cream machine. We thank them for this episode of the podcast. And it's probably timely that we talk specifically about this little guy here. This is a rear bushing or a rear gasket for a batch freezer. And look, whether you've got a soft serve machine, a frozen custard machine, or a batch freezer, you're more than likely going to have multiples of O-rings, rear bushings, rear seals that all need refreshing, that need replacing. And so I wanna talk this particular episode about preventative maintenance. You'll often hear manufacturers or distributors, service people talking about PMs, preventative maintenance or PM kits. Now a PM kit or a preventative maintenance kit is basically a little sachet of these what we call wear parts. I call them wear parts, you may call them wear parts. So basically they are O-rings, gaskets, bushings that need to be replaced on a regular basis. If you do not have spares for your wear parts, I recommend that you talk to your manufacturer or your manufacturer's representative and get some spares because of this rear seal for the batch freezer has a rip, a tear, or a chip out of it, you can start getting uh, irregular wear and you'll start having product drip from the back of your batch freezer or your custom machine or your soft serve machine into your drip tray and possibly, worst case scenario, inside your machine. So it's important, number one, to make sure that you've got spares of your wear parts, whether they be blades, O-rings, bushings, seals. Make sure you have a little bag of them so that you can replace them as you need to. Talk to your service representative also about how often you need to replace these parts. Some of them are basically a sight or a visual. So every time I'm putting this rear seal on my uh, back of my auger or my dasher, I need to make sure that I'm giving it a good visual uh, check to make sure that there's no tears or rips out of it or it's not broken. But there are also things like blades, which we spoke about in a previous episode, that need to be replaced on a regular basis. I do also want to talk to you about preventative maintenance inspections. Now, typically that happens once or twice a year, generally at the beginning of the season and at the end of the season. Have the service person uh, who represents your model or your manufacturer of your product, whether it be a batch freezer, soft serve machine, custom machine, come and do an inspection on your machine. Now, that preventative maintenance generally vacuums out the coils of your machine. It, it uh, tests the pressure or the level of refrigerant in your machine and basically make sure that all of your, again, your, uh, uh, your belts are firm enough that you're not losing grippage. There's a whole lot of things that they can do to help not only the efficiency of your machine, which basically saves you money in power or in utility costs, but it also increases the longevity of your machine. It's just like taking your car down to get an oil change and service semi-regularly. You need to do that with your machine and that's called a preventative maintenance visit. So whether it's a PM kit that you're getting from your manufacturer's service rep or the service rep is actually coming into your store and spending an hour or two hours going over your equipment, they can not only just service your ice cream machines, but they can also look at your walk-in freezers, your uh, reach-in freezers, make sure those door seals are working effectively. I'm telling you, it's well worth the investment because as I said, it'll help you in your utility costs but it'll also long lengthen the, the uh, shelf life or the life of your equipment, which again is money in your pocket. So go back to your manufacturer's representative, talk to them about what they offer so far as PM kits and PM visits, 
and hopefully you won't have to do a PM or a post-mortem on your equipment. Now for more information on it, you can go to scoopschool.com, uh, talk to your, uh, again, your equipment manufacturer. And if you have any questions about PM kits or anything like that, you can certainly contact us here at Scoop School. Steve at scoopschool.com or go to scoopschool.com. Nice to have you here on this episode of the podcast and we'll see you in the next one.